Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the ninth great C on a really cloudy Thursday morning. Awful weather. It's a bit cold as well. Very chilly this morning. And we are here with these wonderful people on a new class from week number four. Uh, just to say we are at the end of March. It's been intense. It's been a whole process of, you know, like seeing people again. And we are with a new class. And these people are totally awesome. They are absolutely awesome. We're going to see how they go in this new class, which contains health problems. We're going to check on health problems. And also we'll be doing some listening and also some conditional introduction. So we're going to check on a new thing. Uh, I would like to say with, as you can see, I have no recommendations because I need music, please. But first, before the music, I would like to go where the vocabulary is. This vocabulary is going to be very useful during the class because it's connected to health problems. Okay, help me out. So we have the word number one. Uh, and let's say that, for example, you are playing football and you are playing football and there is a tackle and then you fall to the ground and you twist your elbow. So your arm is like this <laughs> and it hurts a lot. And then they come to the doctor and then fix it. What's the twist? You twist your ankle. I mean, you can twist your leg, you can twist your knee, you can twist your, your finger. You can twist your finger, for example, right? You can twist your, your wrist. You can twist your neck and that'll be really painful. Torcer, yes. Good. Perfect. Uh, sprain. A sprain is really, you can twist your wrist, okay? You can twist your wrist. If you're skating, for example, and you fall to the to the ground with a, a lot of strength and you, you know, you kind of a hold a push with your wrist, you might twist them. You twist your wrist and then uh, hurts. Also, you can sprain your ankle. Uh, this happens especially to women when they are wearing these working shoes, high heels. They are very tall. And, and if there is, you know, an even floor, they can, they can sprain their ankle. What's that? Uh, un esguince. Yes, esguince, yes. Sprain. Okay, ah. so you can sprain your, your ankle. That's right. Yes. Also, uh, ache, ache, you can have a headache, you can have a toothache, you can have an earache. What's an ache? For example, the doctor at the dentist, uh, he's touching you you're on your face, right? On your mouth. And he says, he's touching the, the gums, la sencilla, the gums. Does it hurt? Yeah, it aches. So aches. What is it? Sorrow. Ooh, dolor. Ah, but that's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dolor, yes. Ache. Doler in this case. Aches. Okay, so when it aches. Sorrow is different. Sorrow is like like emotional pain. Yes, it's like emotional pain. That's a good word, honestly. Sorrow. That like uh, it's emotional. What? Emotional pain. Uh, this is not in the unit, but Good word, sorrow. Uh, what we have uh, now is painful. If something is painful, like, ah, that's painful. If you if you see a video of someone breaking a bone, you say, oh, that's painful. That's probably painful. What's that? If something is painful, what is it? Physical pain. Physical pain, so it's a lot of physical pain, okay? Painful, okay? And if you suffer from something, you can say, some people suffer from uh, migraines, right? Is anyone in this class suffers from allergy? Is anyone in this class suffers from allergy?
No? Yes. Does anyone in this class suffers from allergy? Like allergy to cat, allergy to dust, allergies to food, maybe? Yes, yes, so free Okay, yes, good, perfect. So I was I was I was asking you if you suffered from any allergies. Do you do you suffer from any allergies, people? I chocolate, I don't know the most easy. Chocolate, chocolate. So chocolate. Okay, so Lucas, it would be I suffer. I suffer from allergy. I mean, I suffer from chocolate, sorry. No, I, su I suffer from allergies. I'm allergic to chocolate. Can you say that, please? I'm allergic to chocolate. Ah. Allergic to something. Yes, good. Allergic to chocolate. Good. Oh, that's bad, man. Chocolate is life. Especially, I chocolate ice cream oh allergic to food that's bad i must say it. that's bad um i'm sorry i'm sorry you can you can't eat chocolate is anyone here is anyone else allergic to something i'm allergic to cats i mean to not not to cats but the cat's hair and i have a cat so you know but what about you guys? Are, are you allergic to something specific? People? Puedes repetir? No entendí. Ah, Lucas, uh, if you are allergic to something, are you allergic to something? Allergic to anything? No, no, tiene alergia. Oh. Uh, to a plant, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, a plant. Uh, that, that's very specific. Leonor. Mm -hmm. Really specific. Okay, people, let's move. Good talk. Okay, we're going to move now to another bit. Give me one second and we're going to start our class. Uh, all right, so today we'll be focusing on vocabulary of health problems so first, first things first. Uh, okay, today is the class number five. This is the week number four, but this is the class number five. In this class, we'll be checking what if and health problems. I need guys, you to participate uh, on this thing. So when I ask you how you're feeling today, is anyone in this class feeling sick? Is anyone in this class feeling sick and well ill is anyone feeling ill sick people is, any, is anyone Good. sick or ill is anyone feeling sick or ill or everyone is perfect today I don't, I don't feel, is anyone sick these days? Alguien se, alguien está enfermito? Sick or ill? No, no one? Okay. So, if they ask you, how are you feeling today? And you are a bit complicated. If you are a bit complicated day, you can say that something hurts. For example, some people they suffer from they suffer from migraines. Okay, sufren de migrañas. Okay, so in this case we can say, for example, my head hurts. If a person suffers from, for example, stomach, from the stomach, yeah, my stomach hurts today. If, for example, you slept on the wrong side of the bed and you slept on your shoulder and then you wake up it's like oh damn so you say yeah my shoulder hurts also you can say my my head aches or sores 
you can say also yes my my lips sores for example or my my chin my cheeks they sore they are sore it means they you know they have pain tienen un poco dolor yeah molestan so we can say they hurt aches and sore they express that something is wrong something is bad something happening with your body something not good and we're going to see that in a minute now what's the matter here when we are asking what's the matter we are asking ¿Qué está pasando? my aches in the back oh dude okay so you you have a back pain okay so in this case we know that this person is sick and this person is ill what about this person this is a bit this is a bit worse it's not just simply sick You go to the bed and you're feeling bad, really bad, and you're drinking lots of water. What's this? What's the matter here? What's the matter here? ¿Qué pasa aquí? What's the matter with the girl? Sick in the bed. Okay, she's sick in the bed. Okay, she's feeling sick in the bed. We can see that she doesn't look good. <laughs> And she has paper tissues, she has a, a thermometer there. And the reason is that she got the flu. What's the flu, people? If you have the flu or you got the flu, I think here many people have got the flu at least once in their lives. What is the flu? Enfermo. Oh, Tiene gripe. La gripe. Thank you, Miguel. Tiene gripe. Gripe. No, soy sí, yo, profe. Feliz campo. Ah, Mr. Felix. Yes. Flu. Uh, ¿Refriado? Sick. Or ill. Ah, pero un resfriado. Ah, cuando uno habla de un resfriado. Tengo un resfriado, por ejemplo. Uh, I have a cold. A cold. Yeah, no es frío, sino que es un resfriado. I have a cold. You can say, I'm sick. And why? I have a cold. So the reason is, I have a cold. But the cold is, the cold is minimum to the flu. Okay, the flu is more than the cold. The cold is like, <laughs> and you, you know, you take a paracetamol and that's it. But if you got the flu, you usually you get to the bed, right? And you have to drink lots of water, sometimes go to the doctor. It's not, it's not that good. It's not a good feeling. And usually you don't go to school. All right, what about this next one? What's the matter with this man? What's the matter with this man? Participation, please. Let's do it, let's go. Participation, let's do it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Agustin Vera, what's happening with this man? Agustin Vera is not here, but Leonor Castillo says a pain in the... Uh, yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, the, the correct word for this one is like Luciano Valencia says, he's got a headache. So he, he's got a headache or he has a headache. So he ho he's got he's got a headache or he has a headache. Both are possible. And what about this one? No, Luciano. This this one is just a headache. What about this guy? Surely he's being you know like lifting the heavy thing, lifting heavy things, and then. Uh, What's the matter in this picture? Back pain? Yeah, he's got back pain. He's got back pain. He's got back pain. So it's very important to mention that you have to configure everything. So you can say that I've got a back pain or I've got back pain, whatever. Or you can say I have back pain okay i have a back pain or i have back pain or i've got back pain it's the same i got back pain 
that ain't good. Okay, what about the next one? What happened here? This person probably running, right? Running on the street and then fell and now a problem. What was the word for esguince? What was the word for esguince? I gave it to you at the beginning of the class. Spraying? Spraying. Spraying. So he, yeah, he's got a sprained ankle. So he has, or he's got a sprained ankle. Yeah, yeah, that's bad, okay. Another one. Now, sometimes in the morning you wake up and you're like, oh, it's difficult to swallow. It's difficult to swallow. And sometimes they, they give you like vitamin C. Throat pain. A throat pain. Well, that's intelligent. Let's see. So it's difficult to swallow. Okay. Swallow means tragar. Okay. So it's difficult to swallow. So you have usually something there. Sorry. When you sprain your ankle, you usually are limping. Right. When you're limping, you're like, eh, eh, eh. what's that? You're not walking correctly. You are limping. What's that, people? Cojear. Yes. Yes, cojear. Good. Okay, so it's actually, it's a sore throat. It's a sore throat. So if you're feeling like, uh, uh, and they need water, and then it doesn't go, and then someone asks me hey what's the matter what's the matter with you uh sorry i got i got a sore throat and they say i have vitamin c do you want or i have honey tengo miel i have honey it is really good okay next one what about this guy what about this guy what's going on here what's happening here Usually, go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Help, help. Thank you, Carolina, participating. Good. Anyone else? What about this person? What about this kid? Uh, got pain in the... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, muela. Oh. oh, cachete. En esa parte que se está tocando. El... Yes, it's oh, a sí. toothache. Ah. It's a toothache. Ah, okay. Yeah, some people may say a pain in the teeth. Uh, the correct word is a toothache. Uh, muela, in this case, just the teeth. Okay, the toothache. When you have a toothache, you go to the dentist, and then the dentist says the specific. Ah, oh, you have a problem here and that. But in general, it's a toothache. Okay, a toothache. Mm -hmm. Es dolor de diente, de muerte. Eh, yes, okay. both, ambos, ambos, in general. And what about this person? For example, the problem is that this person probably was listening to music a lot, with a lot of volume. Earache. Wow, uh, good. This is the earache. So this person has an earache. An earache is when you are exposed to a lot of volume or maybe you have an infection. Have you ever suffered from earache? Have you ever suffered from earache? Yeah, ¿han sufrido alguna vez? Have you ever suffered from no, no? I don't remember. You don't remember. Usually little kids, sometimes they suffer from earaches. Uh, adults, not really. It needs to be very strong sound, okay? Very strong volume things. All right, we're going to stop here with this vocabulary. And what we're going to do is I'm moving to the book. I'm going to go to the book now. Okay, I'm going to the book now. On the page 105. Or 105, 105 or 105. And what we're going to see here, we're going to listen to texts, different texts. And what we're going to do is 
uh, check on that vocabulary we just uh, reviewed and we're going to complete some activities we're going to do activity one two three and four connected to this new vocabulary that we have all right so let's do it uh, first thing first let's see i'm gonna ask coral page 105 or 105 105 Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Luciano Cayoja. Luciano Cayoja. Uh, here we have three pictures. We have number one, we have number two, we have number three. We have three pictures. They are different. All of these people are suffering from something. They are suffering from something. Okay, so Luciano, let's go to the picture number one. Okay. This one. Luciano, where are these people? Where are these people? Are they at the supermarket? Are they at the stadium? Are they at the university? Are they at the hospital? At the hospital? Maybe number one? This one, Luciano? Maybe outside the hospital? Maybe. Yeah, why not? It could be. Luciano Cayoja. A él llame primero. Chiquillo, mm. tomaron no participar por el micrófono porque así les sirve más. Ok, so Luciano Cayoja. Eh, ok, this, this person's face doesn't look well. Ok, he has a problem. He has, he has a pain. Where do you think this person has a pain? Or what do you think this person, you know, has a problem with? Just guess. Solo divine. Whatever. Whatever you want. Maybe his face. Okay. Maybe he has a problem with the face. Uh, what? type of problem, a toothache, a sore throat, a earache, a headache. What kind of problem, Luciano? <clears throat> the eyes, maybe. Okay, maybe the eyes. Okay, thanks, Luciano. Let's continue with another person. Uh, Mm, please use a microphone this time. Leonor Castillo. Leonor Castillo. Hi. Leonor Castillo. Leonor Castillo. The shoulders. Oh, okay. And where are they, Leonor? Where are they? In what, in what place? Okay, so you say the shoulders, okay, good. But where, where are they? Where are they? Okay, Martina, where, in what place? Are they in the stadium, the supermarket, the school? the house, uh, the hospital, whatever. Where? The school. You think this is the school, this one. Okay, maybe, maybe they are in the, I don't know, the nursery at the school. Okay, makes sense. Uh, and let me ask another person. Uh, Tomás Fioret. Okay, where are they, Tomás? Where? Uh, what place? Where do you think they are? Eh? What? Mm, 
do I have people here in the class to participate? Uh, Tomas, yeah? Okay. Okay, where is this? Where, in what place? What place huh? do you think? Uh, what place? Place. Place. What place? Place. I know. <laughs> Te está preguntando en qué lugar podrían estar. Yes, yes. What place? En qué lugar podrían estar. Yes. Is it where do you think they are? A school, university, supermarkets, a stadium, uh, in the street, at the park, at the house? Where? Okay, people, too slow. Uh, Felix, help. Uh, uh, what problem do you think he has? What problem do you think this guy has? Valencia, yes, maybe the house. Luciano Valencia, maybe the house. Uh, Felix, what problem do you think he has? Podría tener dolor de cabeza. Yo decir que estaba en el psiquiatra o en el doctor. Okay, English, 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 English. He, he is at. Can, can you say it in English? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I call have a head touch, algo así. No, he, no recuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Yeah, he could have a headache. Sí, headache. Yes, maybe a headache. Yes. And he is at the where? Where is he? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's your, that's his house. Let's say that as his house. Okay, people. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna listen to the text. Okay. Okay, get ready. We're gonna do this one. Number three. Okay, remember, true or false, true or false. Here we go. Be careful with the volume. Cuidado con el volumen. Let's go. Hello, Katie. What can I do for you? Well, it's my shoulder. Okay, and what's the problem with it? Does it hurt? Yes. I fell over while I was skateboarding the other day. Was that yesterday? No, it was, um, two days ago, I think. Yes, Tuesday. OK. And you fell on your shoulder? Well, no, I fell on my arm, really. And it wasn't bad, you know. I just got up and went back to skateboarding. But now my shoulder hurts. Um, I can't move it very well. OK, well, let's have a look at it. Can you take your shirt off for me, please? Yeah. All right. So it says that Katie hurt her shoulder while she was watching skateboarding. So is it true or false? Is this true or false? True. While he was watching skateboarding. No, no, no. No, 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 Yes, she was skateboarding, not watching skateboarding. It's false, it's false, Carolina, it's false. Uh, she was practicing skateboarding, okay? So that, that's the idea. She was practicing the skateboarding and now she had a problem because she fell. And it says, when Katie fell, it wasn't bad at all. True. true, true, true. Yes. She, when she fell, she stood up immediately. She stood up immediately. She stood up immediately. Se paró al tiro. Okay. She, she stood up immediately. 
Okay. Uh, David Sanko hurts at all. Ah, sorry. Let's continue with the listening. We have David now. Yes. Okay. Are you all right, David? Um, yeah. Yes, thanks, Mum. Sure? Well, actually, no. Not really. I think I've got a problem with my ankle. Your ankle? Yes. It's really strange. Um, yesterday I was walking home and it was okay, but then it just started hurting. I don't know why. Then it stopped. But now it's hurting again. Yes, but it's kind of on and off. You know, sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it hurts a bit. Hmm. Perhaps you should see the doctor. What do you think? Yes, perhaps. Okay. I'll phone and see if we can go this afternoon. Thanks, Mum. All right. So, David Sanko hurts all the time. Oh. Uh, false, false. Uh, he says it hurts on and... On and... Oh. On and off. Yes, she says it's on and off. I mean, he says that hurts on and off. Can I say, can I see? I was in on and off. Uh, David's mom wants to take him to the doctor. True. 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 Okay, let's continue with Sam and then Molly. I mean, no, Sam, only Sam. Hello, Molly. Hey, Sam. Hey, are you okay? No, I've got a bit of a problem. Yes, I can see. You're walking a bit funny. I know. It's my back. Your back? What's the matter with your back? I don't know. I mean, I woke up this morning and got out of bed and I felt a bit of a pain in my back. Now I've got backache. Did you tell your mum and dad? Well, it wasn't bad and I didn't think about it much, so no, I didn't. But now... Look, I'll carry your school bag, OK? Right. Thanks. And when we get to school, I'll take you to see the nurse. OK. Thanks, Molly. Molly. OK, so Sam didn't tell his parents about the back. Oh. About the back. Yes. Falls. And Molly wants to take Sam to the doctor at school. True. Sure. Let's see. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. So Sam, uh, tell the parents, okay? Tell the parents. And uh, it's not the doctor at school. It's the? Uh, no. It's the nurse. Thank you. The nurse is a nurse, not the doctor, which is a bit different. Okay. So what we have? Number one, false. Number two, false. Uh, number three is false. Number four, true. Number five, true. And number six, false. Okay. Let's continue that. And activity number two. Yes, yes. Good. Por eso le pregunto a Molly. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. Uh, this activity is really simple. Uh, who was the problem with the shoulder? What person? What was the name of the person with the shoulder problem? Katie. Katie. So that was Katie. Who was the person with the, with the problem in the ankle? David. How? What was the name? Uh, uncle Pain. Yeah, yeah, it was Uncle Pain. Uh, but what was the name of the person? Yes, what was the pain? Uh, sorry, he sprained his ankle. And who was this person? David, I think. David. 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 And this problem. What problem is this? Sam. Sam. It's Sam. And what's the name of the problem he had? What was the name of the problem? Back pain. Back pain. That's beautiful. Very nice. Eso necesito, chiquillos, que ocupen su micrófono. Ya, porque así avanzamos más rápido y practican speaking. Porque en el chat, bueno, si no tiene micrófono, no entiendo. O si hay mucha bulla o algo pasa, no entiendo. Pero intenten ocupar el micrófono. Ya, yeah. all right. We're going to finish this. Bye bye.
we have here some extra vocabulary, stomach ache. That's another problem. Stomach ache, earache, headache, toothache. Vamos a agregar este stomach ache. Stomach ache. De, de hecho, esto suena como cake. Earache, stomach ache. That's another of the problem. Okay, we're going to move now. We're going to move. Vamos a mover. I'm going to go now to a presentation. I'm moving to the presentation again. And I'm going to change the topic, okay? Yeah, siempre con ache. La mayoría termina con ache porque son dolores. Okay, uh, we are changing direction now. We're going to stop with the vocabulary. And now we're going to continue with something new. Okay, something new. So I'm going to ask you some questions, people. Uh, and I want you to answer them with your microphone, I hope. Let's see. What can happen if you drink poison? What can happen if, if you drink poison? That will kill you. Okay, that will kill you. So if you drink poison, you will die, right? You will die or it can kill you. Good, perfect. I mean, it's not perfect. What can happen if you jump off a building? You will die. Yeah, you will die. And if you're very unlucky, and if you're lucky, if you're super lucky, what can happen? I'm dying. Okay, that's one option. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can die or you can break your bone. You can break your bones. Yeah, you can break your bones. You can break your bones or some bones or many bones. Uh, or you can die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are we are seeing now an action and the consequence. Now, what about this one? What if you don't study hard for a difficult test, for example? What can happen? I fall asleep on the exam. Okay, you fall asleep in the exam and you... A bad mark. You get a bad mark or you can fail. You can fail your exam. You can fail. I disapprove. Yes. You can. I don't learn the subject. You don't learn, you don't learn the subject. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Good idea. You don't learn the subject. Now, what about this next one? If you drive really fast in a city like La Serena, for example, really, really fast, what can happen? What can happen? You can crash. You can crash or you will crash. Yes. Okay, so we took it. I'm going to take this one, this example. If you drive fast, you will crash. So attention, people. Attention, attention. So, Felix, I'm going to mute you, Felix, for a bit. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to mute you. There you go. Okay, so what we have here is uh, the example of a sentence that we are we're talking about. So we have, if you drive fast, you will crash. What we have here is what we call the condition, okay? This is a condition. If you drive fast, okay, if you drive fast, the condition usually has if. Si tú conduces rápido, okay? If you drive fast, then we have a result. And the result is you will crash. So these two are two different sentences. 
we have the part number one of the sentence is the condition, part number one, and the part number two is the result. This, or the name of this, is called the conditional number one. The conditional number one explains a situation that is possible, that is really likely to happen. If you drive fast in Peru, you will crash. If you drive very fast in Mexico, you will crash. If you drive very fast in Japan, you will crash. So this is a real possibility. Now, as mentioned, these sentences are divided into in the condition and the result. And when we start with if here, we always, always, always have a comma in the middle separating the condition from the result we have a coma okay yeah si la oración se cambia y el you will crash va antes sigue significando lo mismo verdad yes chocarás si viajas conduciendo rápido chocarás you will crash okay. uh, in the previous classes we were studying the future simple estudiamos futuro simple like predictions for example in 2050, the cars will fly. Now we are using will in the conditional. And the conditional is a, is a really big family. And in this unit, we are going to study the possible conditional, the conditional that can happen. And to work with this is very simple. We need in the condition with if, we need the verb in present simple, okay, with present simple. And then we need a coma, of course, always a coma. And then we need a verb in the future simple. Okay, we need the verb in the result with a future simple, will. Also, we can use can, okay? Instead of will, we can use can. This can be can as well. If you drive fast, you can crash, okay? So that's possible too. Okay, I'm going to do something now. Look, attention. Okay, what happened? What's different, people? What is different now? You will crash if you drive fast. There is no comma. Okay, no comma, yeah, no comma, that's perfect, good, good, Ex excellent. And what else is different? The order? The order, yes, the order. Yes, master. The order, okay, the order is different. Now, yes, Mr. Tomás Fieret, chocarás con tu rápido. So, the order and the comma are different. So we have no comma and also the order has been changed. So again, we have here, here we have the condition. If you drive fast and on the opposite side, we have the result. Okay, this is the result. If se transforma en coma, mm, yeah, that's a good example. So when we have the things in another place, when we change the order, the coma disappears, okay? But it's the same, it's just like multiplication. If you put two by four is eight, is 16, sorry. Two by, no, two by eight, two by four is, is eight, okay? If you, if you put two by four is eight, or four by two is eight is the same, okay? This is similar to the mathematics. So what we have here is that you will crash if you drive fast, or if you drive fast, you will crash. They are the same. We have the future simple, no coma, and then we have the present simple. Yes, Leonardo, good. El orden no lo altera, okay? But it's very important that you know uh, there are there's one thing that is very, very important that you shouldn't forget, is that this conditional represents a possible action. This can happen. And to do this, we're gonna do some practice. 
Yes, yeah, Sofía, te has perdido harta cosa, pero después puedes ver la clase. You can watch the class later on the video. Uh, okay. We're going to watch this video to understand a bit more about the conditional. Be careful with the volume. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls back down. If you pour water... Creo que me sale el subtítulo demasiado abajo. A ver. Configuration. Ok. I think... Yeah. Uh, onto a fire, it gets put out. These are sentences that are called conditional sentences. These particular sentences are zero conditionals. Let's look at another type of conditional sentence. Conditional number one. First conditionals. First conditionals are used to explain about conditions that have a real possibility of happening in the future. It's not 100% sure, but there is a big chance that it will happen. Let's look at an example. If I study hard, I'll pass the test. Is there a chance for me to pass the test if I study hard? Yes. Can this happen? Yes. Does it mean my passing is 100% guaranteed? No. But the test is a very likely thing that can happen. And that is a first conditional sentence. It has the structure of if plus present tense clause will present tense clause. Now for another example. So you just woke up and looking outside the window you see grey clouds. You say to yourself if it rains I'll go back to sleep. Or you can also say I will go back to sleep if it rains. Is this situation possible? Yes. Will this situation happen 100%? No. So that's pretty much what a first conditional is. It's to talk about things that have a high chance of happening. Now, you try and make a first conditional sentence in the comment section below, and we'll see if you're correct. Good, good, good. So what he said in the video is that the conditionals are a, are a big family. We have the conditional zero, the, the first conditional, the second conditional, and the third conditional. Uh, you are going to study in this unit the conditional number one. And in the video, the person says that the conditional number one explains possible situation, things that can happen. 100% no, but probably 90% okay, of the times this can happen. So we're going to have an online practice now. Okay, and here we have the conditional number one. Uh, this person mentions in the... Teacher? Yes. Chances, eh, es posibilidades, algo así. Chances, chances? Chances? Yes, yes, Possible. chances. Yes, possibility. A high chance or low Alta posibilidad, baja posibilidad. High chance or low chance. Okay, so he explained the formula. He said if, present simple, plus future will. Okay, that is the thing that he explained. That's the formula we need. So for example, here, we have if Carolina and Zoo, the salad, feed the house. So what would you put here? If Caroline and Zoo prepare or prepares or will prepare the salad, fill, decorate, decorate, or will decorate the house. Okay. Yes, it's present simple. Vamos con el present simple. ¿Cuál de estos es eh, mejor? Yes, 
Yeah, prepare, prepare. Yeah, look, Carolina, are you there, Carolina? Yes. Okay, Carolina. Recuerda el present simple? Eh, más o menos. Más o menos. Bueno, de present simple hay que tener dos cosas muy claras. Lo otro uno se puede olvidar. Primero, se ocupa para hablar de cosas que pasan siempre o rutinas. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Que hace siempre o rutinas. Y para aquello, estructuralmente, en oraciones positivas, tú te vas a encontrar con un dilema. El dilema es el siguiente. Que algunos verbos tú les tienes que poner una S. O una S o una IS. ¿Te acuerdas de eso? Sí, algo así. Ya, bueno. Y había una regla también. Acá. Sí, eso mismo. La regla dice siempre que los, que los pronombres que son, que son she y que son he y que son it... Ellos van a ser modificables. The... Okay. ¿Y con qué van a ser modific modific uh, modificables? En este porque caso, son especiales, ¿no? porque son especiales. Yo les suelo llamar los tres chiflados, porque en realidad en inglés ellos tres siempre te van a dar un montón de problemas. Entonces, en este caso, para la modificación de present simple, puedes agregar una S, una ES o una y es. Ya, creo que esto lo estudiaron ustedes ya, ¿verdad? Ah, ya sí, ya, 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 ya me acuerdo. Sí, profe. Ya, ustedes ya lo estudiaron. En el caso de que no lo recuerden, bueno, van a recordarlo con este. Ya, esto pasa. Ahora, ¿qué pasa con los otros pronombres? Que el, el you, el we, el they. No pasa nada. Se pone el verbo así nomás, tal cual. Entonces, por eso, eh, me hizo fiermo si ya dijo prepare. Porque tenemos acá, Carolina, Caroline and Sue. Estas dos personas, ¿qué pronombre hacen? ¿Sí? No. no, porque son dos. O sea, eh, el she y el he. No, ¿qué pronombre? They. they. Ellas. Weird. Ellas, ellas. They. Y Carolina, como el they no está acá, no están estos tres. No se le agrega nada a eso. No se agrega nada. Ya, eso es como hay que tenerlo súper claro. En la parte de la condición, siempre va a pasar esto que van a tener que hacer esa, ese procedimiento mental. En la parte de la condición, en la parte del if. En la parte de que viene después, que es el resultado, es la más fácil. Fail. Le tengo que decir yo, ¿cierto? Yes, Carolina, please. Fail. Eh, decorate, decorate, no sé cómo se dice. Decorate, decorates, or will decorate. Eh, will decorate. Yes, we'll decorate. Dijimos, thank you, Sofía Hermosía. Dijimos, tenemos acá la condición. If in present simple, y aquí tenemos the result. This is the result. And the result usually is with uh, will. También puede ir can a veces, se lo van a pillar igual. Yeah? Can. Que como puede, puede ser. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Sofia Hermosilla, can you continue with the number two? If Sue cut, cuts, will cut the onions for the salad, Caroline peel, peels, or will peel the mushrooms. Miss Sofia Hermosilla. Yeah. Cuts. Sorry, cuts. If Sue cuts the onions for the salad, Caroline will peel. Okay. Uh, Carolina. Yes. Carolina. Look. ¿Por qué? Why is this? Porque es una persona. Yes, she. Thank you. Excellent, Carolina. You are ready. Ya está lista. No hay nada más que decir. Good. Okay. Uh, let's continue with uh, another person. Let's go. Participation. Benjamin Gonzalez. So. Okay. If Jane Hoover's Hoover will Hoover the sitting room. Uh, Jane she, uh, Hoover's. If Aaron moves move will move the furniture. Yeah. Well, uh, um, and Jane. Yeah, Jane. 
Who else? Yeah. Yeah. Please. But... Move. Ok, ok. Vamos acá. ¿Hay algo raro? ¿Lo puedes encontrar? Mira, te voy a señalar algo. Mira, fíjate. If. Ah. Está movido. ¿ya? Entonces, el, the result and the condition are in different places. Good, Sofía. Ah. Ya, entonces. Yeah. Ya, ya. Yo diría move, Aaron and Tim, move. Perfect. This is good. What about this one? Uh, who are? Sorry. Mm -mm. And the Will Hoover. Will Hoover, yes. Porque si tú lo pillas acá, dijimos, if es la condición, y va con present simple. Aaron and Tim es they, entonces move. ¿ya? La condición está acá. Y el resultado está al principio. Por eso se movió. Y el resultado siempre va con el will. O con el can, si es que existe. ¿ya? Entonces, es por eso. Will Hoover. Entonces, Jane es como que va a pasar la aspiradora si Aaron and Tim mueven los muebles. Ya, yeah, let's continue with another person. Um, do we have volunteers? ¿Hay voluntarios por acá? Would like to practice. Profe, una pregunta. ¿Por, por qué yeah. era el will? ¿Por qué will acá? Sí. ¿Por qué will en sí? ¿Qué ah, ya. Yeah. Will, will, uh, will expresses something that can happen. Uh, a possibility. A real possibility. So, for example, if I drink poison, I will die. This can happen. Yes, it can. It, there is a possibility. Por eso que vamos will, porque pa, pasará. O puede pasar en un alto porcentaje. Ah, yeah. Ya, por eso va con will. No, es, no, es, no estamos hablando del futuro, ya en sí. Ya, no, este will no lo estamos usando como un futuro como en la clase anterior, sino lo estamos usando como una probabilidad muy alta. Ya. Yeah. Uh, let's see, number four, Bob. Bob. Anita, the toilet. A Bob, tidy. Anita, clean toilet. Yeah. Um, vamos con... Uh, chuk, chuk, chuk. Sorry, what? Antonio Castillo, let's go. Antonio? Catalina Vidal. Catalina Vidal. Emine Vergara. Ignacia Vivado. Oh, por fin han respondido. Okay, Miss Vivado. Okay, Luciano. Next, next one. You here. What would you put? What would you put? If Bob tidy, tidy, or will tidy? Miss Vivado. Tidies? Tidies, yes. If Bob tidies up the kitchen, Anita? Yes. Uh, this is the result. It's the result. Mm. I don't know. Oh, help, help. Will clean. Will clean, yes, will clean. That's the, that's the idea. So we have if, the condition. Yeah, with present simple. If Bob tidies, that's good. 
The result is the Anita will clean the toilet. Okay, uh, let's continue with the next one. Uh, this is, is Luciano. Aquí, acá. Yeah, Luciano. Okay, so we have Elaine. Elaine buy, buys, will buy drinks if everybody help help her carry her, the bottles. Yeah. Uh, la primera es boys. Al final con la S. Porque es she y se puede modificar. Eh, uh -huh. eh, ah, no, 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 no. Me equivoqué, me equivoqué, me equivoqué. Uh -huh. No, es will buy. Okay. Ahí está, ahí está. And then we'll buy drinks if somebody. Ahí is help. Si no me equivoco. Te doy un, un tip, un secreto. Somebody, everybody, todas esas cosas con body son singulares siempre. Son uno. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, es un, un pequeño secreto. Entonces, help. Help or helps? No, help. Helps. Yes, helps. Es que el, el somebody, eh, alguien, puede ser he o she. Bo. Entonces, por eso, finalmente va con. Es modificable, es modificable. Lo que dijiste en un principio, que es modificable. Y eh, me pongo de pie porque aquí te diste cuenta que estaba al revés. Así que, bueno, bien, 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 bien. Excellent. That's good. Let's finish with. Eh, Miss Hermosilla, que ha participado harto desde las tinieblas. Miss Hermosilla, what about this one? If Alan and Rebecca If Alan and Rebecca organize the food, Mary and Connor will make will make the sandwiches. Yeah, perfect. So what we have here, if Alan and Rebecca, this is they We have the condition, coma, and then result with will. And if we check them, they are correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this uh, website on the Google Classroom uh, with the homework. The homework for next week, that it will be the homework number three, uh, is gonna be about the conditional. Okay, you finish this homework of will, and here we have the conditional. So we have the different, the conditional number one. Uh, you have to match, hay que unir, match again. Aquí hay que poner un círculo, lo que es más probable que ocurra. Then you have to complete, and then complete again. Profe, no se ve, ah, verdad. Thank you. So here, for example, we have the homework. This is the, the homework that I'm going to give you uh, in the afternoon. You have the match, aquí, unir. Then you have the circle, the most possible event. And here we have, yeah, acá hay algo que mencionar, ya. Lo voy a mencionar brevemente y terminamos. Pueden ocurrir dos cosas, ya. This can happen. It can happen that maybe the the maybe the condition is negative, and maybe the result is negative. Okay. So when that happens, for example here, for example here in number five, uh, we have if if ataki, under if this is the condition, and is negative. Vamos a ver qué hay que hacer. Po. Dice, if Susie, condition and negative. Es present simple negative. Eh, ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares de present simple cuando está negative? Hay dos cositas que se pueden ocupar. Y empieza con D. Yes, don't, it doesn't. Sí, esta es tarea. Te estoy llevando con los negativos, Carolina. Se puede ocupar don't o doesn't, ¿ya? Cualquiera de los dos. Ahora, cualquiera de los dos no están así porque tenemos que otra vez dec decidir. 
Susie es she. Y lo que tenemos es que she, he, it back on doesn't. Y back on doesn't because, because here we have es. Tiene una S, lo que significa que es amigo de los tres chiflados. She, he, it. Entonces se pone en negativo y después se pone en verbo, tal cual. Doesn't help. If Susie doesn't help, aquí estamos ya en la parte del resultado, porque está la coma aquí. What would you put here? ¿Qué pondría? What would you put in this way? A will get, yes. Will get in trouble. Uh, hay una que esté... A ver, hay una que esté negativo en el... Acá está. No, 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 no está tampoco en la misma que está. Yeah, ok, so in conclusion. In conclusion. Me voy a ir para acá. In conclusion, people. To start finishing. Ok, acá estoy. In conclusion, you can have, the formula should be very simple. If, plus present simple, a comma, and then will, or can. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about present simple, in the positive, you need to check. Tienen que revisar. Check, si que se le agrega. S, S, O, I, S. Tienen que revisar. Así que she, he, or it. Ok, go, Lucas. But if it is negative, if it is negative, if this is negative, el present simple está negativo, si dice not, te dicen escoger entre doesn't o don't. Dijimos que el doesn't va con el she, hit, Así que el otro queda listo. Y si es que el resultado es tan negativo también, el will pasaría a ser won't. Ojo ahí. Más el verbo, que no sé cuál sería. ¿Ya? Si es que aquí llega a ocurrir que esto es tan negativo. El resultado. Ok. All right, people. So I'm going to send the homework in the afternoon. I wish you a very good Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday and you will be able to rest. Uh, keep it going. Good participation. I need more participation with the microphone. And I, I need more velocity in terms of participation. But maybe next time. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any questions? Before we finish, any questions? No. Okay, people, I'll see you next time then.